So we hope Atagrasib is, is not yet approved in the United States. We hope that it'll be approved by the end of the year, uh, as well as in the European Union as well. Um, it's, if you look side by side, and of course we're not supposed to do cross-child comparisons, it appears to be overall relatively similar within confidence interval errors uh, to Sotorasib. So it'll provide patients another choice. Uh, we are hoping to get some updated data on as we change from capsule to, to tablet form, which we think will be better tolerated, as well as starting with a lower dose as well. So we think there'll be some more data, but it's, as I said, right now it appears to be very similar to Sotorasib, which will give physicians some choice and also obviously validates that KRAS G12C is a druggable mutation, which is huge. We also have some uh, hints of CNS data. As I said, that'll be updated early next week. And I think that's a really important thing because patients often have brain metastases. They progress in the brain, and this will be the first presentation of activity in brain metastases uh, of any drug for KRAS G12C. So that's super exciting as well.